Welcome to Healing with Heart, simple ideas for profound healing. These videos are meant for informational purposes only, not intended to diagnose or treat medical conditions. Hey guys, Dr. Martin Hart here with a wintertime message. Wintertime, as we've talked about in previous videos on the four seasons and the five element theory, it's a time for consolidation, for hibernation and rest. This time then leads into the new year and then finally spring. There's an order to these things and there's a reason for them and we should respect them. Essentially, we rest and consolidate in the winter preparing ourselves for the renewal of springtime and the new growth that emerges. So if you're suffering from a chronic illness or just suffering in general, I encourage you to try a new perspective. Take time to rest and renew your internal resources this winter. Gather and cultivate warmth within yourself and your home, both physical warmth and metaphorical warmth, right? Try to create a comfortable, friendly, supportive, loving, compassionate environment. All those things you associate with warmth, right? Sometimes we might add in some things or some colors in the home that are warming type colors. You know, in the wintertime, what do we think of? Time by the fire. We think of warm drinks, warm tea, uh, hot cocoa, right? This is time for us to cultivate these warming attributes, okay? Now, time, winter time is not the area you should start a bunch of new projects, that you should spread yourself thin or, or spend too much time expanding your energies outward. It's a time to bring your energy inward for a season so that it can be renewed and support, like I said, new growth in the springtime. So in this new year, I want you to set an intention that can be practiced and grown as springtime emerges later on. That intention's up to you. I think a great intention during this time is for an intention to start a healing path, to start a new protocol, whatever that might look like. It's almost like planting a rip winter crop that could be harvested later on. Another idea here is that we are meaning-making machines or meaning-making animals. So this winter, you get to decide what you're suffering and your chronic illness means in your life. And I don't necessarily mean to just throw a bunch of positive attitudes or platitudes on top of it. What I mean is, what does it mean for you? Because this is not a detour from your life. You may have heard me say that before. This is a portion or a path of your life that you're on. So you don't let it detour you. How are you going to walk this path? What meaning are you going to assign the path that you're on? Are you a victim at the hands of your illness? Or is this a time for reflection and hibernation? You choose. And there's powerful, uh, and there's power in that choice, okay? That's what gives us, that's our human superpower, that choice we have. So this in no way discards your hardship, but it offers a way to transform it. I hope you choose the path of transformation today. Thank you for listening. Comment below and share with anyone that you think would be interested. Take care.